Hey everyone, this is the Dead Stock Stash. My name is Logan. Uh, today we're going to be looking. Today we're going to be looking at uh, kind of a different shoe than I normally do. This is a Nike, Adidas, any of the hype brands. Um, but the shoe actually got a lot of hype around the initial release. So we'll just get right into it, and I'll kind of talk about it while I'm opening it. So this is on running collaboration with. Roger Federer, the, you know, one of the greatest tennis players of all time. Um, the initial release was a thousand pairs numbered and those were released at Dover Street Market and those sold out. Well, actually they were, they were a raffle. I, I didn't even pay attention to the shoe. I saw that, that that numbered release was doing like big numbers. So then I was like, all right, I'll check them out. And I was actually surprised at how good of a shoe it really looked like. So the colorway is just white gum on these. Uh, the box, you know, is just a standard. Well, it kind of opens kind of cool, you know. Um, I did get these from Nordstrom. You can still get these. Uh, they're popping up every once in a while. The retail on these is actually really high though. In my opinion, they're at $190 retail, and they came out on August 27th, so this is a fairly new new release, depending on when I can actually edit and post this video. I know what these look like, obviously I bought them, but I'm actually pretty surprised at how nice they are in person. Um, like I said, this isn't a normal shoe that I would do a review or even purchase, but Roger Federer is arguably, like I said, one of the best tennis players in the world. And this shoe really garnered a lot of attention um, because this on running company is a Swiss running shoe company. And this is not a running shoe. Technically, according to them, this is the second lifestyle shoe that they've made. The other one was called like Cloud Nova or something. I'll show a picture of it, I'm sure. That to me is still a running shoe. This to me, is a lifestyle shoe, um, which was the intention behind it. Um, I read an interview with Roger and he said that he wanted it not to be a running shoe, but to be a lifestyle shoe. And he even used the word street. So arguably these are a streetwear shoe. Uh, the design on these is really nice. They remind me a lot of the Adidas Super Court, which I'm not sure if you're familiar with. It wasn't a super popular shoe. I'll definitely show a picture of those also. I really like that Adidas shoe. This reminds me a lot of it. Um, these are extremely light. So maybe I can do like a scale on these so that you guys can see how light they really are. Um, so the side here, it says the Roger on it. Cloud Tech is On's like signature um, technology that they use on all of their shoes. But this is a little bit different because you can't tell that this has the Cloud Tech in it. Um, the Cloud Tech is like these little square like bubbles. I know that you've probably seen them. I know like the running store at the mall that I, I go to, they sell a bunch of them. And I've always kind of been like, what are those? Cause they're really weird. But Roger didn't want that in this shoe. He wanted it to be kind of low key. So if you look at the bottom, which hopefully you guys can see this, if not, I'll have B-roll of it, I'm sure. But those cloud tech technology is actually inside. It's just hidden by a solid midsole. Um, but you can see it down here. Maybe there's little pockets in here and they're just not open. This is almost like a material on the bottom, which is kind of strange to me. It's not, it's not a rubber. It has like a thin layer of like cotton or something on it. The gum sole is nice. Has the little cloud for the cloud tech technology. And then it says speedboard on the bottom. Like I said, I'm not familiar with on. So if I'm, if I'm completely butchering this, I'm sorry. This is the first time I've ever purchased a shoe from them, but I think they did a really good job with it to be honest. Um, so a speedboard is something that they have. I didn't, I didn't research on that. So forgive me if that's something that I should know. Another important part of the shoe, in my opinion, is that it's vegan leather. So that that's pretty, you know, progressive, in my opinion. Most companies, most luxury companies, the customer as well as 
the manufacturer, the company kind of want it to be premium materials. And unfortunately, leather is still, you know, the top tier premium material in the eyes of most people. So the left shoe says the Roger has the on logo cloud tech, just white laces, no extra laces with these. And then the right shoe has this little Swiss flag here. So that's cool. And it says Swiss engineering on this one. So it is a little bit interesting that they're they're slightly different from the left side to the right side, but not not much. I'm excited to actually try these on. I didn't think I would like them as much as I as much as I do, to be completely honest. This was kind of like a what's all the hype about? Because the numbered pairs are doing like numbers, like they're selling for in the thousands. So I was like, all right, so yeah, it's numbered, which is probably what's driving the price, but maybe it is actually a good shoe. People are excited about it. Um, you know, and they, they did a really good job marketing it also like the, the main advertisement that I've seen is like Roger Federer, like sitting in a chair and like strumming like a, a tennis racket, which is like, it doesn't make sense, but it works. And, and then like, he has like these dark orange socks on with these white shoes and it just, it made them pop. It's a good advertisement. I think they're doing really good with it. Um, and people are excited about it and that's really you know, what it is, what, what the goal is with sneakers and with marketing. So I am interested to see how they actually feel on foot. I'll definitely be doing it on foot. So stick around for that. I do see like a little glue stain right here. I'm, I'm pretty picky on, on quality, um, especially because this is a $190 sneaker. This isn't a $50 sneaker that you pick up, you know, and, and you don't care about it. Like this is, this is a cognitive purchase. This isn't just a purchase on the whim. <laughs> Even though I purchased on a, on a whim, I'm a little bit different because I'm a sneaker collector. But for somebody who is actually like into the company on and they're looking at this compared to maybe like a actual running shoe, then this may not justify the price point that they have these at. Although, as I said, these are being marketed as a streetwear a lifestyle shoe and not the typical running shoe that that on would normally put out. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm, I'm mostly interested to know what you guys think about a company that is a running company, much like Nike and Adidas, to be completely honest, and all of the other big names, really trying to get into the streetwear lifestyle um, market. You know, it's everybody wants to be in that. It's what's popular. It's what the, the kids are wearing. Um, and this is kind of an interesting uh, adaptation of the two because it has the technology, but it's styled as a lifestyle sneaker. Um, I miss this. The right shoe actually has an R for Roger, I'm assuming. And then the on logo for the left shoe on the back heel tab. Um, so the right shoe differs pretty considerably in, in terms of small details from the left shoe. So I like that, I'm a details person, so I like noticing those, those little things. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments below. I haven't really seen any unboxing of these, so maybe they aren't as hype as, hype is kind of, you know, arbitrary, but uh, maybe they're not as popular as I thought they were, but people definitely care about this release. And, you know, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm excited to get them on foot. I'm back from trying these on and doing the, the on foot and I just kind of thought it was important to let you guys know about the sizing. Um, I bought these from Nordstrom and they did have the disclaimer saying to size up half a size, um, which I do find to probably be accurate. I purchased a nine in these and I wear a nine in Ultra Boost, which I think is probably the most common shoe that people may own or know what their size is in them, or at least be able to go try on if you can't find these locally. And they are a little bit small. So I took a quick little video of me wiggling my toes in the toe box, which I'm probably showing you right now, and you can see where my toe is, and you can see that on the left shoe, it's a little bit tight. I think the shoe just comes to a little bit more of a narrow uh, toe, and you know, because it is that, that vegan leather and not prime knit or any type of like material that gives that these run a little bit smaller. Um, I just thought that that was important and I wanted you guys to know. I just wanted to give you as much info on these as possible. Uh, back to the normal video.
Uh, so let me know what you think. Uh, if you like the video, please do like and subscribe. And if you're on Instagram, please follow me at the Dead Stock Stash. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck on your next cop. Take care.